In this video, I'm going to show you the best stream settings on OBS, and we're starting right now. Hi there, David Walsh here once again, here to help you grow your YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to look at the best stream settings for OBS Studio, so you get the best streams. So let's jump in. Now, the first place you want to visit is speedtest.net. So we want to measure the speed of our internet connection. So just go to, as I said, speedtest.net, click on the big go, and it will then run a test and measure the download and upload speed of our internet connection. So the bit we're interested in is actually the upload speed of our internet connection. So as you can see here, we've got 67 meg download, but the most important bit is that we've got 16.71 meg upload. And this information will become very useful as we get into OBS. Now, if you do have a slow internet connection, make sure to watch my how to live stream video where we discussed using your mobile device to get faster speeds for your streams. Link is in the description below. So here we are on OBS. So to get started, we click on the settings button on the bottom right. So the first setting we want to go to is our video setting. So our base canvas area is the screen area that we can see on our screen. So if you have a 4K monitor, you can put in your dimensions there or any other size that you've got. I'm just sticking with the 1920 by 1080 or 1080p because this is just easy for me to use. Now the output scaled resolution is the most important one here. We don't want to go any higher than 1080p or 1920 by 1080. Going any higher is unnecessary and it also takes up a lot of bandwidth going to Twitch or YouTube or Facebook or whatever platform you're streaming to. So select 1920 by 1080. Now, if you do select this and you've got a fast computer and a fast connection and there's still a bit of an issue, what you can do is you can actually upload at 1600 by 900. Again, this is 16 by 9 and there is very little difference in the size and quality between this and 1080p. So if you're having quality issues with your stream and you have a decent upload speed, then you can downsize to this resolution as the picture difference is very little. Now under downscale filter, you can select the bicubic if you're just doing talking head videos like I do on YouTube, or if you are gaming, you can then select the length sauce here. So we'll just leave it with the length sauce. Again, there's not much difference if you are just doing talking heads and selecting this option. Now under the next settings, we want to select common FPS values. So if you are doing talking heads like I do, then 30 frames per second is more than good enough for quality talking head video. If you are a gamer, then you definitely want to select 60 frames per second. This gives you better quality image for your video gameplay and looks a lot better. But as I say, I do talking head videos, so 30 frames per second is more than good enough for me. Under output, if you have simple selected under output mode, then select advanced. Under encoder, select X264. Now I do have Apple VT encoders here for hardware and software, but I'll still select X264. The problem with these is that they select variable bitrate uploads, which YouTube, Twitch, and other platforms do not like. Under X264, I can select constant bitrate or CBR, which those platforms like, which we'll come to in a second. Make sure to check the Enforce streaming service encoder settings so that whatever platform you're uploading to, it then pulls in the settings from that platform that they prefer. You don't need to click on rescale output. We've already done that under video. Under rate control, this is where we talked about constant bitrate or CBR. So make sure that it is selected on there. Under bitrate, this will be determined by your upload speed. So you'll see the settings on your screen now. If you do have a fast internet connection that's 10 megs or more, then you can select up to 6,000 KBS. Now you don't really need to go above that because Twitch, YouTube, and other platforms don't like the bit rate above that level. If you do go above that, I know for sure that Twitch will throttle you and then will bring down your bit rate and your video will look very pixelated and bitty. So stay safe even if you have a fast internet connection, select 6000 and you're good to go. 
or if you don't have a fast internet connection, then select the one that is correct for you based on the information that's on screen now. Keyframe interval, you wanna to set to two. CPA usage preset, now you can select anywhere from medium fast, faster or very fast. This is the opposite of quality. So if you want to go very fast, then your quality is gonna be a little bit less. If I wanna select faster, then my quality is gonna be a little bit better than very fast. Or if I wanna go fast, it's gonna be better again and medium is gonna be better again. So experiment with these, I will select faster. And under profile, you wanna select main. Then none for tune and you can leave the next one blank. Now to stream to whatever platform, I've already done a video on that. Make sure to check that link out in the description below or in the card that's just above. Under advanced, you wanna select color format NV12. Color space, you wanna select 709 and not 601. And then color range, you wanna select full. And then that's pretty much it. Once you're done, click on OK and you're good to go. As discussed, if you are having problems with the quality of your video on the upload, make sure to check on speedtest.net your upload speed, then adjust the frame size accordingly or your bit rate as well. And then the other thing is to check your CPU usage under output and to see if that helps with your stream quality. What updates have you made to your OBS software? Let me know. What updates have you made to your OBS software and how has it been? What updates have you made to your uh, What updates have you made to OBS Studio? And So what changes have you made to your OBS Studio software and how has it improved your live streams? Let me know in the comments area below. Now, if you're new to this channel or you just haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you'd like more tips on how you can improve your streams, make sure to hit that link right there.